I'm Julia Piper, Senior Editor with Green Tech Media. I help oversee our news coverage. Um, and you're all here at Green Tech Media's Power and Renewables Summit. Over the next couple days, we'll be exploring how decarbonization will shape the power markets of tomorrow. And I want to say thank you to our sponsors. Oh, we'll get back to that in a minute. Well, thank you to our sponsors. We had a few logos we wanted to share with you, but they do help make this event possible. So thank you to them. Um, I'm excited to be joined by everyone in the room, and I wanted to quickly give a shout out to GTM Squared listeners. They are watching this all online through our membership-based news subscription. So hello to all of them. Um, at GTM, we pride ourselves in covering the latest trends and stats and data. So in the spirit of that, um, I wanted to run through the data that you'll need for your day. Um, first, uh, while the news remains independent, we get a lot of our stats from our research team. And it's important to note um, that, oh, here we go. That's me. Hello. There's our sponsors. I told you we had some. Um, great. So, GTM Research is now Wood McKenzie. The stat to know there is that there are now 115 analysts in 15 countries. A lot of them are here today, so if you want to connect with them, they are around. Um, so highly recommend that you do that. Um, the Power, and Re uh, Power Renewables Division is made up of the energy and storage and grid analysts, uh, research, researchers from GTM, and then the wind consultants and analysts from Make Consulting, and the global power team from Wood McKenzie. And so, as I mentioned, this group crunches a lot of numbers, so just a few to sort of set the scene. By 2035, Wood McKenzie projects that renewables will likely make up 20% of the global power demand, up from 7% today. The global solar PV market will add over 100 gigawatts of capacity for the first time this year, and that annual installations will easily exceed that 100 gigawatt threshold through at least 2022. Global wind capacity is set to double by 2027, and a total of 1.4 gigawatts and 2.3 gigawatt hours of energy storage were deployed last year. The US was leading in terms of energy capacity, and the US will continue to lead the energy storage market for the foreseeable future in energy storage. So over the next few days, we will have a lot of speakers and our own experts will delve further into these kinds of numbers and give you a lot more analysis around that and what it means for your business and your organizations. On the policy side, I want to touch on this quickly since it's kind of topical. I'm a news gal. So the Democrats, as you probably know, won at least seven governorships recently in the midterm elections. They also took back control of the House. That'll be interesting and could definitely affect energy, the energy transition going forward. State-level politics are particularly interesting. Uh, as you probably know, governors either appoint, uh, they appoint the public utility commissioners in, I think, about 39 states, and the remainder are also elected, so we'll see some changes stemming from the elections there. Obviously, the commissioners have a big role to play in this industry. So, rounding out the slides here with some more information for your day. Wi-Fi. Uh, it's an open network, AT&T Wi-Fi. You can select it there, connect. All the slides will be available for you. Our events team's awesome. They will make sure that you get those after the show. And we just ask that you uh, often complete a, a brief survey about the event in order to get those. The Q&A platform, this is really important. Uh, we do it all via a tablet, so the moderators can get questions in real time, and they'll weave them into their panels. So to ask your question, just go to gtm.cnf.io. You'll be prompted there on how to ask the questions. And even if you don't have your own question, log on and consider upvoting some of the other ones so that the moderators know to maybe prioritize that. All right. So I'm going to end it up with your data roundup for the day here and hand it over to Prajit Ghosh, who is the head of global strategy at Wood McKenzie Power and Renewables.